Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of Inside Lady Tigers Basketball with Pokey Chapman presented by Whitney Bank. I'm Victor Howell. On this week's program, we'll look back at one conference affair in Baton Rouge, a Thursday night showdown with the Lady Gators from Florida, and then that big top 10 showdown over the weekend with the Lady Huskies from Yukon. We will also get up close and personal with Big Sill, Sylvia Fowles. All of that, plus comments from Pokey Chapman when we come back. Inside Lady Tigers Basketball, presented by Whitney Bank, is brought to you each week by our team LSU partners. Cox Communications, your friend in the digital age. Oshner, the official healthcare sponsor of the LSU Tigers. Super Chevy Dealers, the official vehicle of Lady Tigers basketball. People's Health, the official health insurance sponsor of LSU Athletics. And by Verizon Wireless, the official wireless provider of the LSU Tigers. Inside Lady Tigers basketball is a weekly presentation of the LSU Sports Television Network. This segment of Inside Lady Tigers Basketball, presented by Whitney Bank, is brought to you each week by Cox Communications, your friend in the digital age. Welcome back, everybody, and as always, joined by head coach Pokey Chapman. Pokey, let's go back to the midweek action. The Florida Gators were coming to town, and this is a team that I know got your attention last year after the game in Gainesville. They came to Baton Rouge winless in the SEC, but you knew you were going to get their best shot. Yeah, you know, I can see the score last time, 79-78. I can see the post-game celebration, but that was last year. And then you look at film for this year, so many people ask, how do you get your team up for a team that's coming in here 6-18? and 18? I said, uh, we watch film. And you recognize that they've gotten used to their nine-man roster and their rotation. They're playing well, and they're really close against quality opponents. So it was an easy task to get the team ready to play Florida. Florida came in with one of the tougher non-conference schedules coming into this game. It turned out to be a good one in Baton Rouge. Here are the highlights. The Lady Tigers and the Lady Gators. Here's Patrick Wright. And it'll be LSU in white, Florida in blue to start this one. Uh, LSU has a decided height advantage. We'll see if they can take care of it. LSU going to our right. Thomas takes it in for the layup, and it's good. Florida looked confused from the beginning as to which way they were going. Off to Rashante LeBlanc, up ahead to Fowles, the catch under the bucket. The layup is good, and it's quickly four to nothing. And it's seven to four. Florida with seven in a row, white through traffic. Left of the lane, out to LeBlanc, who lobs it up for fouls. She got it off the tip, laid it in, it counts, and she is fouled. White uh, approaching the top of the key, hands it off there to Cheney. Right side, LeBlanc, open three, that one is good. LeBlanc hits the three, wide open from the right wing. White rebounds to uh, Cheney, right wing, drives baseline, runner from five off the glass, no good, but Thomas is there for the follow. Ten to shoot, Brooks working on White, eight to shoot. Pass is deflected by White, White tips it to the backcourt, she's got it, it's one on none, and the layup is good. To Dotson, spins on Phillips, fadeaway shot blocked by Phillips, she tipped it toward the backcourt, Brooks got it, that's a couple of blocks for Phillips. There Phillips, shoots one from 12 on the baseline and hits another one. Right uh, side to White, back left point Mitchell, left corner Phillips, 18 footer is good, nice stroke from Phillips. Thomas, deep left wing Cheney, lobs it in the lane, foul, she catches it and scoops it and lays it up and in. There is what LSU should be able to do all night against the smaller Gators. White left wing to LeBlanc, lobs it down for Fowles. Fowles lays it in. See, that, when you're that much bigger than everybody, that's probably what you should be attempting to do a lot of. It's 39-29 LSU. On the right block, Dotson dribbles toward the lane, kicks it out to die for three, and she drained it. Good look, didn't go. Bowden hits Phillips, and Fowles blocks the shot out of bounds. To White back at the point, back to Hightower. Easy 12-footer is good on the left baseline. And LSU by 15, we're at the 12-minute mark. LeBlanc, left baseline, Hightower will fire a 10-footer, and that one's good. So give LeBlanc the assist, give Hightower the bucket. She's got four. Dodson lost the dribble. Outside the lane, picked it up. Right wing to Bowden, a long, long three is good. LeBlanc ahead to White, to Thomas, free throw line jumper, good. So in rhythm, Thomas hits that shot. She's got eight. Mosser, right wing to Dotson, spins in the lane and dishes it back out, but it is a deflected. Bowden chases it down on the wing, six to shoot. Bowden goes baseline to the hole and laid it up and in over Thomas. So Bowden's got 14-9 in the second half, but Cheney beats everybody down the floor and lays it up and in. Down low to Fowles, lobs it back to Mitchell right wing, back up to Cheney, lobs it back in again to Fowles, triple team. Out to Thomas, left side white, 18-footer, good. That's good ball movement. 
Right wing to Mitchell, back to Chaney. Long three from the left point is good, so LSU answers back. 12-point lead in the lane. Dotson has it knocked away. Chaney got that one. Off to Mitchell, ahead Chaney to the hole. Chaney lays it up and in. So Chaney with 12, and Carolyn Peck wants another. So the Lady Caters made a run at the end for the Lady Tigers, but the good thing for LSU, some of the starters getting some much-deserved rest, and they would need it getting ready for Sunday's showdown with the Lady Huskies from UConn. We'll talk about that game when we come back. LSU basketball is back in action, and you don't want to miss any of the excitement. Be sure to watch as Big Baby, Glenn Davis, and your other favorite LSU ballers try to battle their way back to the Final Four. Pokey Chapman and the Lady Tigers are also on the prowl and have their hopes set at another chance in the big dance. So tune in to catch all the best in purple and gold basketball right here on CST. When we got married, suddenly we had two of everything. They had a lot of stuff. Two dining sets, two dogs. Two car insurance companies. I'm State Farm agent Joan Roysom, and this is a true story. We had to get rid of a few things. Yeah, mainly my things. He had State Farm. She had a gecko. I helped them compare rates and coverage. It was no comparison. He was right, for once. This time, one of my things stayed. Like a good neighbor? State Farm is there. Introducing the all-new Silverado from Chevy, the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. Backed by the best coverage in America, better than Ford, Dodge, and Toyota. No wonder Silverado was named the 2007 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. And now, get $1,000 trade-in bonus cash from Chevy. This is our country. See your Super Chevy dealer today. Part of the team, the Tiger Athletic Foundation. of Inside Lady Tigers Basketball, presented by Whitney Bank, is brought to you each week by Oshner, the official health care sponsor of the LSU Tigers. Welcome back. So then the Lady Tigers now, Pokey, jump out of conference. And this is one of those late uh, non-conference games. You don't always see this, but this was not your ordinary non-conference game as UConn came to Baton Rouge. Yeah, you know, it's one of those things that's been afforded to us because of the evolution of our sport and, and TV opportunities. And then you have someone like UConn on the schedule in February, and it's a true indication of where your team is at this point in time. Uh, it kind of had that NCAA tournament feel, and uh, it was what we expected. It was a hard fought ball game, and we just came up short. It, just to ask you when you lead into this game, because you're right, it was a very much a tournament-like atmosphere, but you're focused so much on what's going on in conference. Is it tough to jump out of conference for a game like this when you're right in the middle of the, the SEC play? I don't think it's tough because of the intensity level and the quality of the opponent. Uh, I think it gets you ready for the SEC. Uh, I think more importantly, it gets you ready for when you're in the tournament, you don't have a lot of time to prepare for an opponent and you're not as familiar with them. So it's a true indication if your kids are mentally uh, focused enough to make that adjustment and get ready for the opposition. It was indeed tournament atmosphere at the Maravich Assembly Center. The Lady Huskies and the Lady Tigers here once again with the highlights is Patrick Wright. Thomas at the top, right wing to LeBlanc, lobs it up for foul. She catches, she lays it up, and it bounces in, and LSU's on the board first. Well, the lane was open, but it was just the basket area that was closed off. Shot off the glass from about five is good by Charles, banked at home. And White bounce pass Cheney near the point, dribbles it in the lane, jump step to the hole, throws it up and in from about five. 
So Cheney created that time. 15.45 to go. Left wing LeBlanc, wide open three. That one is good, and we're tied at nine. You, you uh, LeBlanc, 21 threes for the year, 48%. Montgomery to answer, a three is good. Cheney ahead to the basket, misses, fouls, rebounds, puts it in. LSU beat him on transition. Quick pass left wing White. Back to Phillips in the lane. Five foot tough shot is good. Just to the left side of the bucket. Phillips hits. And it's 14 to 13. Tigers won two to nothing over Middle Tennessee this morning. Allison Hightower drives the lane. Dishes to Cheney. Fakes. Let's her man go by. And she lays it in. And LSU leads. Dribbles it toward the top of the arc where she hands it to Phillips. Left wing Hightower lobs it down low. Fouls. Baby hook is in. Swanee bounce pass down under. It is uh, saved by Charles. Charles inbounds to a driving green who uh, flips it up and in. Back over to Hightower, left side, fakes the three, drives down the lane, running one-handed floater, no good, but she got the rebound, turns, puts it back from five, it's good, it counts, and a foul! Phillips, uh, left wing to Hightower, dribbles inside the arc, backs out, she'll take a three, and it's good! White. Dribbling through traffic to the left baseline. Up top, Phillips. Phillips in the lane. Spins. Shoots it with one hand and misses. Rebound. Fought four fouls. Got it. Puts it back in. Pass uh, down low on the baseline. Charles kicks it over in the corner to Montgomery. Back to Charles. Working on fouls. Tries to shoot over fouls and does and banks it in from about five. Fouls looking to find somebody on the back door to LeBlanc. Takes it to the hole. Shot is good. It counts and a foul. Somebody got a piece of it, but it still went in. Tigers can go double figures. White zigzags toward the right elbow. Up top, Thomas, 18-footer off the glass and in. You can tell it was long off of her hand. Cheney back up top, Phillips, 18-footer is good. Swanee right side, Thomas can't shoot the three. Down low, Houston shoots it over, fouls, no good from five. Rebound batted around, Charles lays it up and in. Green, right wing Montgomery. Over to Charles, goes to the hole on fouls and lays it up and in. Cheney dribbles to the right elbow, back to Hightower. Thought about a three, didn't take it. Nine to shoot. Hightower at the top. Hightower toward the lane. Fade away from 12. Left it short. Fouls put back is good. And she, even though her shot didn't fall, it opened it up for Sylvia to get an offensive rebound. And Cheney steals it, took it from Green at the free throw line toward the hole. Layup is good. And it's a one-point game. Crowd thought she traveled. Got it to Houston. Shot in the lane from 10 is good. 46-43. Cheney at the top. A three to tie. It's good. Fade away three. Cheney from the top. And dropped it. Got it back. Up top, Montgomery. Drives right side. Back out, Thomas. A three. And it's good. Oh, boy. She'll burn you from out there. And dribbles. Spins in the lane. Back to Hightower. A three. Is good from the left side. That was huge. As we approach 10 minutes to go, only a nine-point deficit. Hightower at the top, spins in the lane, turns from 10, shoots it in. And up top, Phillips. Phillips down low to Fowles. Layup is good off the glass. White up top, Phillips, 17-footer. Good. Now the Tigers keep making the buckets. They need a stop. Hightower goes left baseline. Up top, Phillips, 16-footer is good. Big shot. Nine to shoot. Up top, Phillips lobs it for fouls. In the lane, turn, hook, yeah, rattles, and it goes. 20 for fouls, and the lead is down to three. Cheney's coming into the front court. Tigers run. Cheney down the lane. Runner is good. It's good from seven. Hey, up top, Charles tries to drive on Cheney. Pushed her. They didn't call it. And Cheney, uh, rather, a Charles shot it in from five to Phillips. Phillips lobs it up for fouls. The catch, the flip, and the bucket is good. Tigers down by three. White, 18-footer left side is good. And that cuts it to one. White to inbound. Got it in for a quick jumper. Cheney hits it. She hits it on the baseline from 10. A running one-hander. We're tied. I don't know. Well, one of the assistants was. All right. UConn's got it. A three by Montgomery. Oh, she hit it. She hit it. 6.7 to go. UConn by three. White into the front court. White will pull up. She's got to shoot the three. Up to Phillips for three. Three. It's good! It's good! Two! They say it's a two! Her foot was on the line. There's so it was drama down to the very end, but when it was all said and done, that 43-game home win streak has come to an end. So now LSU will look to try to restart one, and we'll talk about when they can do that a little later in the program. But up next, we'll get up close with Big Sill. That's coming up.
here's a credit card and a check card that work together, both earning points that combine in one very big total. Introducing Whitney Points Plus Visa Credit and Check Cards. For more points and big rewards, it takes two to tango. Points Plus, only at Whitney Bank. Running video, MP3 sound, broadband speed, internet, and email. All working flawlessly together in one ultra-thin device. The new Blackjack. Only from Singular. Can I be confident that my health care provider will put my needs first? Can we trust that our health care provider will be here for us? Can I have health care with greater peace of mind? At Oxner, you can. Oxner is the unique coordinated healthcare system that's neighborhood based for better, more consistent care and greater peace of mind. To find out how you can have healthcare with greater peace of mind, call toll free 1 866 Oxner. 1 866 624 7637. This is a lineup that cannot be stopped. A perennial powerhouse that needs no timeouts. The team, SECsports.com. And it runs up the score every week with more real-time coverage and live streaming content than ever before. Put in the play and get the results on all your favorite teams, players, and coaches. And get exclusive real-time coverage of SEC championships. Everything you need to know, everything you want to hear, everything you have to see at SECsports.com. I was proud of what our league had been able to do. You could have a SEC team win a national championship in the NIT in the same year. The same year. You've got to live in the moment and go out there and play as a team. There's going to be adversity and there's going to be challenges. It's not about the past and it's not about the future. It's about right now. segment of Inside Lady Tigers Basketball, presented by Whitney Bank, is brought to you each week by your Super Chevy dealer, the official vehicle of Lady Tigers Basketball. Welcome back. For those who have been familiar with the Lady Tiger program, there's been a nice flow of players coming in from South Florida, and one that's been a special one, and we've really seen her game develop over the last couple of seasons, Sylvia Fowles. Yeah, you know, I, I can sit here and talk about Sylvia all day, and it's because of, uh, obviously, the, the dominating physical presence, but it's the work ethic and the mentality and the, the opportunity to always want to learn. She's always looking to improve herself, uh, and she's really stepped up this year and understands the leadership role she has to take on the court. And uh, it's been a big reason why we're 22 wins into the season. And one thing that's not very easy, because last year you had the inside-outside combination with an experienced player like a Simone Augustus, and then with her gone, Sylvia was kind of thrust into that spotlight. She is. She's thrust into the spotlight and we're struggling to find ourselves on the perimeter so she's going to have not one player, not two, but oftentimes three players thrown at her. She's, you know, it's always a physical game underneath and uh, she seems to handle that extremely well and put up good numbers for us. She always draws the attention of every opponent that comes in to face LSU. Our Kevin Wagner caught up with Big Sill, Sylvia Fowles. Without question, one of, if not the top post players in the country resides here in Tigertown. The list of accomplishments for LSU Sylvia Fowles is a long one, and this season alone, the six foot six junior is currently averaging over 17 points and 12 rebounds per contest. But as talented as Big Sill is on the court, the personable Lady Tiger also shows outstanding ability as an artist. My older brother, he used to draw, so I picked up that habit from him. At an early age, I say when I was around about in the second grade, but I'm getting to the habit of drawing people now. That's like my big main focus now, so I decided to draw Coach Chapman. Now that you've been here and gotten acclimated to this program and been such a big part of, of LSU's success the last couple of years, has this program been what you thought it would be? Um, yeah, it's been all that and more. Uh, some of the stuff I expected that I never thought would happen, like me breaking records or me being added to the tradition and the legacy of LSU, uh, some things that I never thought about, but it's everything I expected even more. A couple of Final Fours, uh, three to be exact for LSU's program. Uh, 
And I know, you know, a lot of basketball left to play this year. You guys are, are obviously heading, you know, back in that direction. Do you like where this team is right now and the direction you're heading? Um, most definitely. Uh, we got a lot to work on, but I'm liking uh, the direction we're pointing in right now. We know some things we got to pick up to get to that next level, but most definitely I'm liking the direction we're going into. For someone in your position uh, in a program like this, there's so much resting on your shoulders. Um, how much does that wear and tear on you, both physically and mentally? Um, I say physically because you got to get out there and actually do what you got to do, compete, especially in the SEC, uh, banging every night. And against, um, I say, any opponent, they come out and you just got to go out there and bang mentally. I don't think it plays that big effect because I'm a strong person. And um, my teammates and my coaches helped me get through that. In the time you have left here at LSU, uh, obviously I, I know a national championship is always on y'all's minds. SEC championships, tournament championships, national championships. But uh, just talk about what you would like to see accomplished in the LSU program before you leave. Um, most definitely uh, just winning the championship, a national championship. I mean, the coaches worked hard for it to get this program together and get it built the way it did. Um, a championship is always my main focus, but for those who come in, make sure they understand the program and make sure they have an easy going college life and learn from their experience basically is what I want for the program and just keep the, le the legacy going here for LSU. I know this is probably not a fair question to ask you now, but when your days here at LSU are done, um, how bad will you miss this place, your teammates, this program? Um, I think most of us are keeping contact, but um, it's going to be a hard goodbye for me. Uh, it's just, I don't even want to think about it right now. I mean, it'll be a, a process that I have to grow up on, but just to be able to know that you can't live the college life a second time, I think that'll be the biggest part for me, knowing that I learned so much here for the bigger world. And um, just the friends you meet here is, is going to be a, a big experience for me. But I think it's going to be tough. But then again, I'll be back every chance I get. Once a tiger, always a tiger. Once a tiger, always a tiger. is in my blood. And with the remainder of this season and next year still left to play, rest assured the LSU Lady Tiger basketball program is in good hands with Sylvia Fowles. Kevin Wagner inside Lady Tigers basketball. Kevin, thanks. When we come back, we'll look at what's up next on the SEC schedule for the Lady Tigers, so don't go away. U.S. agencies can save you up to 30% on your auto insurance. With flexible payment plans and low down payments, it's easy to save. Just call for your quote today. We're right in your neighborhood with locations throughout the state, so it's easy to get your money saving quote. Call or come by today. It's time to start saving with U.S. agencies. Call for your quote today. At U.S. agencies, you'll save. a credit card and a check card that work together, both earning points that combine in one very big total. Introducing Whitney Points Plus Visa Credit and Check Cards. For more points and big rewards, it takes two to tango. Points Plus, only at Whitney Bank. Introducing the all-new Silverado from Chevy. The most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. Backed by the best coverage in America. Better than Ford, Dodge, and Toyota. No wonder Silverado was named the 2007 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. And now, get $1,000 trade-in bonus cash from Chevy. This is our country. See your Super Chevy dealer today.
4,800 student athletes. 2,200 named to academic honor roll. 17 named first team academic All-American. 12 universities. One mission. The Southeastern Conference, equipping tomorrow's leaders today. This segment of Inside Lady Tigers Basketball, presented by Whitney Bank, is brought to you each week by Whitney Bank. It takes a Whitney Banker. We're back and we'll take a look ahead at what's coming up for the Lady Tigers. Poker, we just talked about the, having a chance to start a new win streak at home. We'll get to that in a moment because your first game is going to take you on the road against an opponent we saw a couple of weeks ago, the Lady Razorbacks. Yeah, and that's the good thing about it. Uh, you know, obviously we're on the road and that's always tough, but the good thing it's an opponent that we've seen earlier before and how uh, we experienced some success in trying to take them out of things that they're comfortable with, uh, namely their transition game. So we have some momentum that we can build on from the last time we played them. But it's on the road, it's at Arkansas, and we need to be ready. And to come back home, time to start a new win streak, and what a nice challenge it'll be. The Lady Volunteers from Tennessee rolled to Baton Rouge. That's a Monday tip-off. Yeah, you know, it's one of those things we've uh, really gotten a, a rivalry going with Tennessee over the last few years, and it's always, you know, nice to be uh, mentioned in the same sentence with those uh, elite teams. Uh, we've had some great matchups, had a great matchup there last year. I'm sure they're going to roll in here. They're playing extremely good basketball. And what we're going to try to do is build some momentum Thursday coming into that ball game uh, so we can have some success. Lady Tigers on the road Thursday, but get out and see them Monday night at the Maravich Assembly Center. It ought to be a classic LSU and Tennessee, and those are the games we will talk about next week. Best of luck to you, Pokey, and the Lady Tigers, and thank you very much for joining us. For Head Coach Pokey Chapman, I'm Victor Howell. This has been Inside Lady Tigers Basketball with Pokey Chapman, presented by Whitney Bank. Inside Lady Tigers Basketball, presented by Whitney Bank, is brought to you each week by our team LSU partners. Cox Communications, your friend in the digital age. Oshner, the official health care sponsor of the LSU Tigers. Super Chevy Dealers, the official vehicle of Lady Tigers basketball. People's Health, the official health insurance sponsor of LSU Athletics. And by Verizon Wireless, the official wireless provider of the LSU Tigers. Inside Lady Tigers basketball is a weekly presentation of the LSU Sports Television Network. Oh, snap. Are you ready for this? Oh,